Hello, hola, bonjour, everybody. It is Matthew from Acro Bros Bodybuilding MB3. And uh, let me just start out this video by saying you can go ahead and live the lifestyle you live. Just don't flaunt it off. Oh my gosh. This might be a little bit of a rant, but I don't know if any of you feel the same way, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. So, I, this kid I worked out with, no offense to him at all, he's a subscriber, he's fine, but his buddy he introduced me to, uh, so he's like, okay, you guys have some things in common, you can talk. So I'm like, oh boy, what's this? He's wearing this tight t-shirt. He looks like, yeah, he lists, but whatever. This is what I'm thinking in my head. I mean, everyone does it. Size up your competition or whatever. So we're just talking, and uh, the kid I worked out with told him, he's like, hey, this kid competes, meaning like me. He competes in bodybuilding. He's like, oh, cool, like, really? Like, all surprised, and it's freezing out. It's like uh, zero degrees, so I'm, you know, I'm wearing jeans, T-shirt, sweatshirt, big old winter coat, whatever. So, I mean, you can't tell, whatever. So he starts asking me, like, so what are your macros? So I'm like, well, I'm bulking right now, so I don't really keep checking my macros. He's like, you're bulking? This skinny kid's bulking right there? <sighs> that cuts deep. That already started to piss me off. Calling me skinny? Oh, my gosh. Like, this kid, serious. So then he... He starts saying, okay, so what intro workout do you use? Intro work, God. I'm like, I don't use any supplements. He goes, you don't use any supplements? So he's already, he just expects that I'm the skinny kid, doesn't know how to lift or whatever. And, oh my gosh. So then, uh, so I say nothing. He probably uses whatever. He's probably, I'm just picturing him like in the gym screaming like, wearing this stringer, having all this intro workout, like a shake with him at all times. Oh my gosh, seriously. And so then he starts going on talking about his lifts. How he starts out with, we didn't even get any further because I was so pissed off. He starts, he's like, oh yeah, I bench. Oh, finally this kid backs me up. At least he's like, this kid's really strong. He's stronger than me. And because we just deadlifted together. And so this other kid starts talking about his lifts, starts with bench. He's like, yeah, so I bench, you know, I bench 335. I, I can rep out 315, you know, sets of five. I forget how many reps he said. But I'm like, 335? I mean, you'd have to see him, but I can see that to believe that. I don't care how strong your little tendons are. 330, I mean, come on. Maybe 315, but still, I'm stuck at like, I don't know, I'm working my way up. I was like, maybe 220 for five sets of five. This is ridiculous. And so, basically, my little rant, that just put me over the edge. I cannot stand those people who just come up to people and start talking about working out, but not really like talking about it, like saying what their weight is, true or not, just flaunting all that, and then when they're in the gym wearing all that, cannot stand those people. I purposely go to the gym in a t-shirt slash sweatshirt the whole time. I never tell anyone. I don't even look at anyone. That's just, I hate people who just, oh my gosh, this kid in the gym, he uses the whole cable machine. Everyone's waiting for him so he can do these frickin' windshield wiper ab workouts. I'm like, honestly, go do some, uh, you know, th it's so busy right now, just do some crunches or whatnot, or leg raises. You don't have to do this stupid show-off-y exercise, like muscle-ups. I mean, come on. That's getting a little um, arrogant. Sure, you can do muscle-ups. I can do muscle up but I'm not going to do it as a workout. And if you are, like, it takes the whole thing. Anyway, such a rant. I'm just 
beyond angry and fed up with these people who just talk about lifting and like it's hard to describe just people who flaunt that stuff whatever I'm done already now that that's over let's see what Doug thinks about it <laughs> okay let me touch on this topic a little bit there is nothing about the whole fitness community, if you want to call it, that grinds my gears more than ignorant lifters like this. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Not only like Matthew is saying, trying to force what you do on somebody else, like that's the only way and that they just blaze the trail to being the new Arnold. But for two, is it just gives the persona of all lifters, like for instance, me and Matthew and anybody else who lifts and is serious about it and is humble, it gives them such the, a bad persona and a stereotype as a meathead. And then somebody sees them and goes, oh, look at that guy. And that's where they create things like Planet Fitness. And they have, oh, yeah, all these meatheads come and they lift because of that guy who doesn't even lift. And he acts like he's the greatest, oh, he knows all-knowing. And it's ridiculous because Matthew is so much more intelligent about lifting. I mean, for one, that's his major is exercise science at Ohio State. For two, is that guy hears something like no supplements and he thinks, oh, you can't get big without supplements. Oh, you don't take supplements. And that's just, he thinks he's being smart and talking about supplements, but he's just like so simple-minded when it comes to that that it's just absolutely amazing. And he thinks like, oh, gosh, it just drives me crazy. I can't even. And also when it comes to the big lifts, I've had so much experience with this, it's not even funny. So many people come up to me and they just tell me about how, oh, I lift this much, I lift this much. And for one, I could care less, honestly. And they're like, oh, how much do you lift? How much do you lift? How much can you bench press? I, I honestly don't care. I mean, that's one thing if you're talking about powerlifting. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I, I like powerlifting. And I mean, yeah, of course I work on my strength. I'm not going to say that I don't, but that's not everything. And on top of that is somebody says, like that guy, oh, I can bench 335 or 315 or whatever it is. I'd really like to see that because a lot of people, they'll say, oh, I do this much. And I'm like, okay. And then I'm at the gym and I see them and they're only coming down to here and then back up and they're doing terrible form. Or they say they can squat a lot and I look over and they're on the Smith machine. Or they say they can squat a lot and I look over and they're going down two inches. I'm like, well, you, that's not squatting. Oh, yeah, I can squat 315. Oh, I can take it off the rack and bend my knees a couple times and go back up and they act like they're your best friend that lifts? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. Oh, you just walk over to the bench and throw a couple plates on there and act like they're... No. <laughs> I can't even, like, I can't even get the words out. It just makes me so mad because some of these people, it just, I get it. Everybody has to start somewhere, but realize that you're just starting. Don't act like you've been doing this for 10 years. I haven't been doing it for 10 years. So when you first start, realize that you're first starting. Don't think that you know everything. Listen more than you tell and filter out all the bad stuff, like, what that guy, I guarantee he's telling people, some guy says, oh, I want to get in shape, and that guy, he's going to be like, oh, I'll tell you what to do, you do this and this and this, it's just absolutely ridiculous, and I could just go on and on for days, but there's my two cents of it, I just have one question, does that guy even lift? <laughs> so I forgot to say one more thing, it's pretty important, uh, where this kid was telling me this was at a house at night, he's sipping on a couple of beers. Of course, I have a little cup of water here, you know, trying to fit in, all nice. But anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so speaking of that, if you have any comments, any arguments, whatever you want to state, go ahead and comment below. Uh, so if you, But if you liked it, you can go ahead and like it. You can throw down a comment, and you can subscribe. Remember, there's always more on the way, so stay tuned. About this pre-workout, let's just say, never kicked in. Not once. After I did my classic survival squat, went over uh, incline leg press one leg at a time.